You are the average of every marketer who has come before you. Now, that's probably, in many of your cases, not the best thing, because what that means is your sales leader, your CFO, to everybody that you're gonna work with, they actually perceive your capability and they assume they know what your job is based on everyone they've interacted with, whether in that company or prior companies. And it all comes in to be the average of how they perceive you to be. And it's impossible to tackle that all at once to overcome all of their failures, as well as your own, because you're going to have your own. But you're gonna spend a lot of time overcoming that. And I feel like it's a really important thing to be aware of and to vocalize as you're walking into a new role. And me, I've tried to make up for many of the past leaders that I have um, come after, and I did that even in my Marketo job. Uh, not, you know, not because it actually was that bad, I think there was just this perception that marketing wasn't as aligned with sales as what they needed to be. And I stated, I stood on stage at our kickoff event for the year and said, we're gonna be BFFs, like we're gonna have those friendship bracelets and those necklaces and it's gonna be really cool and we're gonna kind of stalk you and it's gonna be a little creepy but we're gonna start to be more aligned. And it was so much more complicated than that. And it didn't happen immediately because I also underestimated the baggage. And the journey takes some time, it really does. And it has to be one that starts at every single level inside of a sales organization. So seek out those when you're in that position who are actually eager and willing to share what is broken. Because there's usually a lot that's broken. And a lot of times those relationships have gotten so challenged that people have just stopped communicating at all with one another and there's silence. And don't accept the silence is what I would tell you. 